Hello everyone, it's Persian Altero. Welcome to my channel. I'm going to do a money reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Don't forget to take what resonates and leave the rest for the best experience. Also, hit that like button. It doesn't cost you anything and it helps my channel. If you enjoyed this reading, don't forget to subscribe and turn on my post notifications. And thank you for those of you, to those of you who always like and support without me even having to ask. Special shout out to you guys. Let's see what's going on for Saturday for the Collective Aries Magician card. You're the alchemist. You're using your power, your resources. You're taking control. What are you doing? Okay, looks like you're fantasizing. You're imagining seven of cups. You're daydreaming. There is a delay. You feel like you've gotten, uh, you've had a mental breakthrough or you feel like you are going to soon. You feel like you're going to receive abundance, a new job, or an opportunity that's going to lead to more prosperity in the future. You could be thinking about the past. You could be having happy memories, nostalgia. You could be getting a message from someone. They might be giving you an opportunity. It could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. doesn't have to be. You could also be nurturing yourself. You could work from home. Okay, it looks like somebody's acting strategically. There could have been deception. There could be a trickster. Somebody who lacks empathy. Someone who's not emotionally tolerant. The star and the empress card. So you could be healing, restoring hope. And focusing on nurturing yourself. Self-love, growth. Could be focusing on manifesting abundance. You could be watering the seed you planted and you're focused on your own growth, stability, your own beauty. There is a delay. Wheel of Fortune reverse. So there could be a negative cycle, negative phase in your life. There could be something that you could feel like you're experiencing like a bad cycle, a negative phase, but the wheel must turn, okay? So you could be practicing patience, moderation, harmony. You could be healing yourself after dealing with a stormy time. You could be protecting yourself. You could have isolated yourself from people could be about you and a business partner, you and a lover, someone you have a relationship with. It could be a water sign. It doesn't have to be. Someone who you have an equal relationship with. What about this individual? Made a head over heart decision about a relationship. You're hard working. You're focusing on hard work. You may not want to reunite with someone. You're focusing on your work. You could be dealing with a toxic person. Um, someone feels, someone could feel very like left out of the cold, left out in the cold. They could be worried, but you are overcoming financial loss and even feeling isolated. But somebody else is heartbroken. Somebody else is experiencing loss, worry about you, but you actually are doing it because you want to. You're not isolating because you're worried or you need anything. Or there's something wrong with you. You're doing it because you want to. You want clarity. You, you're avoiding someone or something. It could be an Aries Leo Sagittarius. But I don't think that's what it is. You're not taking action at this time towards someone, something. You, are, you have a lot of courage. You could be defending yourself. Or feeling like you need to protect yourself. Um, and that could be why you are avoiding someone. Something was hidden. There could have been a secret. 
the ace of wands so you are focusing on a new beginning after feeling backstabbed betrayed and defeated feeling exhausted you had very strong feelings about this could be negative emotions um but now you're focusing on what you can control you're being positive you're focusing on happy what makes you happy what makes you feel good what makes you feel joy what makes you feel like a child again? You've gained clarity and perspective. The truth came out about something and it did set you free. You've gained clarity. You knew how to handle the scenario. You've gained perspective and mental clarity. So thank you for all of this information. We want to know more about what Aries is working towards. Becoming more independent, more equal give and take in your finances, in your relationships. You could be letting someone go because they're very toxic and they're abusive. They're always angry. They're negative. They lack. You're healing yourself, taking action towards your own personal goals. You're not feeling trapped, stuck, or worried about something anymore. You're taking action. You have limitless potential. You're focusing on... You could be avoiding a disaster that you just kind of intuitively intuitively know about. No one told you. You just have the intuition. You have the, the knowledge. It just came to you. And you're trusting yourself and the intuition. You could be romanticizing your life following your heart, using your imagination. You could be isolating yourself. We already said that. Isolating yourself from a scenario. What is the final outcome for Aries? Wish come true. Happiness, gratitude, Lots of emotional satisfaction. Oh my goodness. The world. So you're going to be very happy, grateful, emotionally satisfied, happy, content about a completion, a success, a major victory, an end of a cycle that's going to lead to long-term wealth, stability, family, property inheritances old money legacy you're building this is what you're working towards and your wishes are coming true you are isolating yourself following because you're following your heart and using your imagination to create so this is obviously not a personal reading and it's not going to resonate for every single one of you but those of you who this reading does resonate for you are creating with your emotions. You're using your emotions to send out an energetic frequency of your desired reality. You're also using your imagination. So that's why you're avoiding, you're, you're being quieter and in hermit mode because you know that your words are swords, that your spelling cast spells, that what you focus on grows, that your imagination creates, that your attention your feelings you know following your heart you know you're doing what needs to be done to basically create this to end the cycle of burdens you do you're protecting yourself you're guarding you're protecting yourself because you have to there are people Maybe in your energy. They may not be in your life, but they may be in your energy. They could be like thinking about you a lot, talking about you a lot. It could be people, you know, around you. It could be people at work. It could sadly even be family. Usually it, it happens like that a lot. Um, so keep that in mind. So let's see. What else do we have for the collective Aries? I don't know why I'm feeling called to, I wasn't going to use this today, but let's see what comes out. There's got to be a reason why I feel called to use this deck right now. So what do we have for the collective Aries? I'm so excited for this outcome. Hit that like button to claim this reading. 
it seems like you guys, some of you are going through stuff, maybe some endings. And it could have even started during like the last eclipse. And it's just kind of being more magnified. You know, you may have known like last year what doesn't serve you, who needs to be let go of. And now you're sort of becoming more sharp and clear about it and making the final decisions. And if this is going to happen for the rest of the year. So if you're not feeling this right now, it could be that you will begin to have. Sometimes you need to have the courage to face your own feelings awakening prosperity out of all of these cards you guys with the first two we get is awakening i feel like intuitively you're awakening to your a potential to create okay prosperity that's what some of you are creating you're manifesting prosperity abundance there could have been somebody could have done a hex or a banishment and I feel, you know, maybe you need to protect yourself, clean your floors, do some protection, um, foundation. You can do protection in different ways. You could pray. You, it depends. In my, from my experience, I go based on the level of severity. Like if it's a small thing, yeah, I'll use my voice. If it's something bigger, I'll use more energy. I will use more tools. I might even do a ritual. So banishing can be done, you know, just putting salt around your home. If you feel like worried about your home, there's things that you can do. You can do salt, washing your hands with salt. I do this often. I take salt. I just put it in my hands and I just wash it while reciting, you know, I'm fully protected. Foundation, homeland, you could be thinking about where do you want to live where are you going to move to oh my god the chalice of fulfillment this is about like fulfillment joy your cup is overflowing one more and then i'm gonna move on cloak of concealment you could be protecting something protecting yourself something you're hiding something something is being concealed and i don't feel like it's for a negative reason I'm excited. I'm glad I decided to do this. I wasn't going to do a reading today. I was going to do my best to take off until Monday. And it's so hard for some reason. Like, I, it's hard to take days off the way that I used to. I don't know if you guys are thinking about my videos, but something keeps pulling me to make videos even when I try so hard not to. I will set the intention to not make a video and still make a video and it's kind of frustrating <laughs> but some of you are going to be clearing debts obstacles and blocks are being lifted maybe the negative phase is is happening to get rid of what no longer serves you it's going to keep repetitively happening until you make a change it could be something as simple as a, a vibrational shift within you, a perspective shift within you. Quiet retreat. It's time to disconnect from the outer world so that you can discern and process your true thoughts and feelings from your inner world. Create this quiet time for yourself and you'll have clarity about what to do next. So the reason I try to take days off is because this is what I do. I focus more on my inner world because my inner world creates my outer world. So by taking a step back, instead of just impulsively, habitually taking the same actions out of habit, I will take a step back and really reevaluate things. You know, how am I feeling? What am I thinking about? What thoughts am I feeding emotional energy? Because those are the things that I'm going to keep manifesting. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. We also have unlimited ideas. Your mind is one with God's infinite mind. You have complete access to unlimited ideas guaranteed to bring blessings all you need to do is take divinely guided action to allow these to come to fruition 
I almost ended the video, but it's Saturday. I think you guys have more time than usual. Exercise to increase your energy and manifestation abilities. We talked about this a few times. This is a repetitive message. So there's a reason for that. So do some exercise that's fun to get your energy levels up and also speak words of abundance. Positive affirmations about abundance. You have the ability to instantly manifest abundance by choosing powerfully positive words. I'm going to add thoughts, assumptions, expectations, visuals. Always describe your financial situation in loving and optimistic terms. Because like I said, words are swords. I'm going to leave this for another time, but let's do one more deck. The Madame and Doris fortune cards. You guys love this deck. One of the cards is flipped out. Okay, what do we have for the collective Aries, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs? And spirit, please give us more clarity about what we already discussed. If you can add some clarity that would be wonderful oh you are destined to succeed there it is guys it's it's already done let me see if i could show you more of the table jealousy so somebody is getting bad karma right now because they're so jealous of you they can't even handle how jealous they're a snake and this is why you're staying away okay Darkness looms on the horizon. The raven is, a, in my opinion, a very positive symbol. But this person could be dark. They could have bad intentions. They could be a trickster. The raven is also a symbol of trickster energy, but it's also like about new beginnings, magic, intuition, transformation, rebirth. A close friend is going to act on your behalf. So don't worry about this jealous person. Follow your intuition. You know, we did get the High Priestess card sending you a message to trust yourself and your intuition about a specific individual or maybe more than one individual. We have a long journey brings rewards. The stars, you guys, you're putting in the work. You could have been on this journey for a while. Some of you have been doing this for years. Authority and diplomacy. You're Now you're learning ancient knowledge. You're taking your power back. You're learning how to create. You could be studying ancient knowledge. Using the knowledge, the ancient knowledge you have to create a better life. A sly and subtle approach is needed because not everybody wants that for you. Revelry and indulgence any other messages for aries your abilities will be enhanced you will start to get more intuition beware who you trust there's a wolf in sheep's clothing i feel like you already know this it could be an air sign gemini libra aquarius doesn't have to be this is simply a symbol of air seek a union of mind and spirit Forces beyond your control intervene the hand of fate. Strength and wisdom, the, the dragon. This is the year of the dragon. Strength and wisdom. We have winds of change. Your surroundings will undergo transition. And we also have conflict and danger. Lie in wait. Dagger. We have a lot of cards came out, you guys. So we have be meticulous and patient. This fate has blocked something for you. And I feel like it was a there's a reason for it. OK, so something is blocked for a reason. Good fortune and friendship. Locked the doors can now be open because you have the key. We also have let your intentions be known. If you really do feel like there's a hindrance or something is blocking you, I recommend you do something about it. Whatever you feel called to do, um, that's what I would personally do. And it does work, okay? 
I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope you got something out of it. I do want to keep going, but I'll keep it short just in case it's too long already. And thank you for watching. Thank you for liking, subscribing, turning on my post notifications. And I hope you have a great weekend if I don't see you until Monday.